morning everyone, I am Giorgia Meloni, I am 45 years old and I am the president of Fratelli d'Italia, the political party of Italian conservatives. Four days I uh, have been reading articles in the international press about the upcoming elections that will give Italy a new government, in which I am described as a danger to democracy, uh, to Italian, European and international stability. I have been reading that the win of Fratelli d'Italia in the September elections would mean a disaster, leading to an authoritarian turn, Italy's departure from the Euro and other nonsense of this sort. None of this is true. But I am well aware that these articles are inspired by the powerful media circuit of the left which here in Italy is very strong in newspaper newsrooms and in those of the television programs. But it is definitely very much outnumbered among the Italian people. It has also been said that the center-right government would uh, jeopardize the next generation EU funds and the successful implementation of uh, uh, the National Recovery and Resilience Plan but I categorically deny this absurd narrative. Regarding this matter, the Draghi government could have done more, but was not allowed to do so, not because of Fratelli d'Italia, the only party in, op in opposition, but because of a too heterogeneous and quarrelsome majority. The same one that brought about the end of that government. That is why Italy needs a united and clear-minded government that would not only avoid wasting a euro of those uh, money, but also foster investments and growth in our country. You should also be aware that in Italy, for more than a decade, governments have not been the outcome of what the citizen shows by voting but rather have been the outcome of agreements often under the table or unorthodox between the same parties that were fighting each other in the electoral campaign. In these 10 years, the left, which has failed to win elections in Italy since uh, as far back as two, 2006, has managed to stay in government almost all the time. There's a great anomaly in the Western political landscape because in a democracy, normally those who lose elections should go to opposition. On the other hand, for too many years in Italy, those who lost elections find themselves in government, achieving very bad results. In this decade, our nation has experienced an unprecedented social and economic decline with a progressive deterioration of public finances, the quality of life of citizens, and the competitiveness of our businesses. With the left in power, the state has turned hostile to citizens and businesses, increasingly violating individual liberties. Yes, freedom. Freedom is for us the most precious wealth. This compass guides our historical judgment. The Italian right has handed fascism over history for decades now, unambiguously condemning the suppression of democracy and the ignominious anti-Jewish laws. And equally, unambiguous, of course, is our condemnation of Nazism and communism, the latter being the sole totalitarian ideology of the 20th century that still is in power in some countries, surviving its tragic failures and that the left has a hard time condemning, perhaps partly because it has received generous founding from the Soviet Union for decades. To the same compass of freedom, we orient our stance on the facts of today's world, in which we fiercely oppose any anti-democratic drift with words of firmness that we do not always find in the Italian and European left. Today, this left is terrified because in the upcoming elections, Italians might vote for the change embodied by Fratelli d'Italia. But we can no longer allow the image of Italian conservatives, a passion of freedom and defense of Western values, to continue to be defi defiled by mystifiers who seek any expedient to maintain power. For years, I've also had the honor 
of leading the European Conservative Party, which shares values and experiences with the British Tories, the US Republicans and the Israeli Likud. Our standing in the Western field is crystal clear, as we have demonstrated once again by condemning without ifs and buts Russia's brutal aggression against Ukraine and by helping from the opposition to strengthen Italy's position in European and international forums. Our idea of Europe is that of a political actor capable of representing a real added value for its citizens, with less bureaucracy and more ability to have an impact on major issues. What do we want for Italy, for its future? We want Italy to return to being that great nation, dynamic and innovative, esteemed all over the world, that strongly contributed to European civilization. We are loyal, honest and determined people, and we are ready to launch a new season of stability, freedom and prosperity for Italy, whether the left likes it or not.